It's Miriam Ortiz Pino here with uh, More Than Organized, and I'm having major light issues. I'm just turning this off. I don't know why today I cannot get the light to not uh, be in my glasses. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, just perfect for the adaptability uh, topic today because I have been having one of those bits of time. I'm going to take these off too. Um, where I don't know if you guys ever have this, but sometimes stuff just doesn't go well. It doesn't go smooth. Nothing goes wrong exactly, but there's these periods of time where things aren't smooth. You know, you drop your keys, uh, you spill your coffee, you get a runny nose at the inappropriate time, you um, can't get the light to work. You know, there's there's systems happen um, to fall apart sometimes or not work smoothly because they need a little adjusting or adapting or something's just a little off and wonky. And that's where I've been the last um, like three weeks. It feels like almost everything has been not difficult in a I am struggling or grinding way, but in a everything is taking just a little bit longer and one or two steps extra because something goes awry on the way. So the computer froze when I went to first start the broadcast. And so I had to shut everything down and restart. And then the light doesn't work. And those those little things, nothing major, just a little bit frustrating. So I wanted to talk about about adaptability because of that has been going on. But I also ended up working with a fabulous client today that had a couple other situations that deal with adaptability come up. And so I thought that would be cool to to bring into the conversation as well. But before I get into it, I just want to remind people to go to morethanorganized.net. There are lots of free resources on there, blog posts and uh, the One Minute Mail Solution Kit and free uh, simple tips and ways to declutter fast. All those things can help you get and stay organized and give a little bit of insight into, into this adaptability piece as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is, is that you want to be flexible. So whether you're approaching organizing, um, decluttering, or just going through your day doing your regular routines and things go a little bit wonky or new information is introduced like a new appointment or a new um, call comes in or, or those kinds of things. Just remember to re remain flexible. You still get to make the choices. You are in charge. Um, but if you are too rigid and not flexible, then it can feel like it's happening to you instead of it's happening with you or for you, which it might be. You might, you know, sometimes these little things pop up and keep us safe from various things or are because we haven't thought through all the aspects of something we're about to dive into and it's just slowing us down enough to adapt in that way. So just remember that if you're too rigid, it it doesn't allow for change. And if you're getting organized or trying to implement systems or make things easier, or develop new habits, all of those things require change. So you wanna keep that open mind about change and let it in as, as much as you can. Um, it's also a great time to seek input on what those changes could be or what they might look like because sometimes we have a hard time seeing the possibility. But when things are interfering in some way with what we're trying to accomplish, sometimes it's just an opportunity to look at the possibility. It's where you can imagine things and get really creative. What would it be like instead? What could it be like instead? What are my options here? There's more than one way to skin the cat, as they say. And you want to take it as an opportunity to look at other possibilities, stuff you may not have um, thought of before. Now, you don't want to spin around here too much, but just if stuff isn't going smoothly, look at what else could I do? What could I do differently that'll help um, get through the logjam? Or do I just go with it through the whole thing? Okay. Um, yeah, possibility allows you to be creative. What would you like it to be instead? Um, and that brings an opportunity to um, look more technical difficulties. I had to click on that button three times before it actually changed the thing. Um, and now I have a cat just clawing my side to get out the door. So I'm gonna skin you cat. Um, so opportunity is the other thing that can can help when looking at adaptability or ways to apply adaptability to getting organized. What are 
the opportunities to look at things with fresh eyes. You know, maybe you've always kept your books on the top three shelves of the bookcase and you have the bottom two full of notes or bins of toys. What if you switch things around? What if the kid's getting a little taller and now the books could be on the bottom and the toys could be up on a shelf or two higher? What if you put all of that collection on the same couple of shelves in a group and amassed them so that they're all together and it's a bigger impact than having them scattered all over the place where it looks a little bit cluttered? What are the opportunities there that are presenting themselves by being adaptable? If you can't put something in one place, what are the options? Um, and just try it a different way. What's the worst that could happen? You move it back to the way it used to be? Well, that's only gonna take a couple minutes once you you know, have the clutter cleared away and you can rearrange things as needed. Um, try it like someone else does it. Do you like the way someone else approaches that particular problem and, and the result they seem to get? Try reverse engineering their result um, and try to make things easier. Where can you um, get something out of your way so you don't trip over it every time you go to get in that closet? What if you, um, and that happens a lot. Stuff in the laundry room, you know, when you you can't get at the laundry because the hamper is in the way of the door of the washing machine or you can't reach the detergent because other stuff got set down in front of it. Those are the kinds of places where adaptability would be. Well, don't do it that way anymore. Let's do it this other way instead and um, give you a little bit of wiggle room to try something new. All right. I hope this helped with learning a little bit about um, adaptability and how it applies to organizing and how it can help you through a, a struggly part of your life. You know, it happens all the time to everyone, sometimes randomly for weeks, for a day, for once a day. You know, it just comes and goes. So when you're in one of those periods where things feel like a struggle, like you're having to fight through it, just take a deep breath. Look at it with some fresh eyes. See what you can do differently instead and keep going. Because the important part is to not give up. All right. Again, lots of free resources over at morethanorganized.net and stay uh, in the know about when new and exciting things are coming that you might want to check out. All right. Thanks for coming. See you later. Thanks for bearing with me with the uh, various times that I had to try to do this today. Um, hopefully the rest of the week goes smoother. All right. Take care. Bye bye.